welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to share with you my Erin Condren haul and everything that I got in from the pre-sale um, for this, um, this season. If you're interested, please join me and I will go through everything that I purchased. So right off of right off the bat, I just want to say that I did order less than I did the previous year because I still have some stickers and things left, um, and I also decided to go with a totally different um, planner this go round. So let's go ahead and get into all of that. Um, so first, I just want to say that I got this really pretty washi. It is for the Bloom collection. I think that you can see that okay, but it says right here, um, the, I think it says a Bloom. Yeah, a Bloom four pack. Um, so I haven't opened it yet, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. I'm just gonna go ahead and poke a hole into the top. And it is covered with some plastic. Just want to see if I, yep, there. Go ahead and open that up so that I can see all the washi inside. All right. So it did say four pack, and I kept thinking that this might be two smaller ones, but they are um, joined together. That is one. So it has the gold, as you can see, it kind of shimmers, and then it has this peachy color um, that ties in with their new Bloom collection. And then I also got this one with it, too. This has been really like a popular pattern that I've seen a lot lately, so I was excited to be able to get one of those. And then these two, of course, have the uh, flowers on them, very much like the flowers that are in the new Bloom collection. So there's those. And then I'll just go ahead and throw this away. Okay, so I'm definitely going to get into my planner, but first let me show you a couple of the other things that I got besides the washi. I did pick up these um, daily planning notepads. There are two notepads together and they were banded together, but um, I already took that off. Um, I guess couldn't help myself, right? I wanted to see what it looked like. Um, but I was able to personalize it, so I loved that. I put Maria G, and um, this has the top priorities. Um, my liquids that I will drink for the day, um, probably water, and then appointments, notes, and then from 6 a.m. to 9 p.m. Now, I did this so that I could use it at work, and um, there's two pads, so this just basically comes off, and then you can start using the second pad, but that's what I got these for, and I'm excited to go ahead and get started working with those. And I really like the size and I feel like I can, you know, write plenty of information on here for my day. And I could probably even use the back if I needed to um, sketch anything out for work. <clears throat> this is the paper that actually has, I'm going to cover it up, it has the code on it for like future sales and stuff. But, um, and then it has, it's really highlighting the Harmony collection because that's their newest collection. Um, with that and then I just kept the um, kept the sticker and stuck it on there as well but on this side it talks about the back to school collection and all of the things that are um, available they do have academic um, planners and things like that to kind of get people ready for the school year um, so I'm just going to set that aside and then they always send freebies, and so my freebie was this uh, metallic bookmark. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and open that up too. So it has these um, little sticky tabs in here that you can pull off and you can use um, within your binder. Um, so it says metal bookmark sticky flag set um, so that's what it means it has these um, sticky flags that you can pull off and then this is made of like a, I guess kind of like a thicker cardstock um, and so eventually I'm 
probably like if I use these all up I'll probably take it off and maybe I'll you know put some stick something else on to the clip but um but yeah so this clip and or bookmark that I can use in my um, new planner so the extra things that I bought um, were the the washi um, and the notepads and then this was a freebie that I got for um, my early uh, purchase or my early order okay so now let's get into the planner that I chose for this year oh sorry for that glare let me push that up okay so um, I did go with a completely different uh, planner for this year. Let me show you what I got last year. Okay, so last year I got the 7x9 um, monthly planner. And I got this so that I could work with my, um, my art businesses, but also for budgeting. And I absolutely loved it. It was from... Um, July um, to June, so July of 2021 to June 2022, and um, I, I loved using it. Like it, it worked out great for me, and I'm really happy that um, I did use it. Now I have this left over. I have several of them left over, so I am going to take it off of this um, once the month of June is done and I'll, um, I may add it to this. I've been wondering if it's going to fit. It may not fit. Um, but we'll see. Maybe I can like trim it down or something like that. But, but so I still have this that I can use. Um, and then I have, let's see if I can find them. Yeah. Last year I got the flora, um, a lot of the flora accessories and I used quite a bit of these stickers, but not all of them. So, um, so I'll probably just continue to use these in my new planner um, until they're all gone. And then at some point I will probably buy some more. Um, but that was for last year and I absolutely love the size. Everything worked really well. Um, But my purpose for the planner kind of fluctuated, um, which brings me to this new petite size that I decided to go with. Um, I'm going to adjust my lighting just a little bit so there's not a glare and then we'll keep going. Okay there, I think that's better. I'm going to go ahead and move the washi and my notepads out of the way. And let's take a look at this new um, petite planner. Now, this is the um, compact vertical layout, which is new for this year, and I'm excited to use it. I actually saw um, the example of this on um, Amanda's favorites, so thank you, Amanda, for that, because it really gave me an idea of which planner I wanted to go with this year. Um, so I'm glad that she was able to kind of preview and show the planners um, up close and personal so that I could really make an educated guess like or an educated decision of which planner that I wanted to use because you're kind of committed to it for the whole year. You don't have to be, but usually when I get a planner, I do try to use it for that complete year. So I did decide to go with the petite um, and we'll see how it goes, but I've been really used to the 7x9, but I wanted something that was a little smaller size, hence the petite. Um, <clears throat> and so this one measures, get my handy dandy ruler out. This one measures um, 8 and a quarter by 5 and a half. I wonder if that's. No, it's eight and a quarter. Yep, eight and a quarter, um, and then definitely um, five and a half. So um, that's what I decided to do instead of the seven by nine, and I'm really excited to kind of get into this and see how this is going to work. This is going to be my daily planner and also my budget planner as well. At the bottom, I put Maria G, and I put Let's Do This. I'll show you. Oh, it's really glary, but eh, there you go. So it says Maria G, let's do this. And then they also have the option for the different coils. 
Last year, I stuck with the silver coil that comes with every planner, but this year I decided since I was going with the petite that I would spend um, a little extra to get the matching um, rose gold coil. And I say matching because of this cover. As you can see, it has a lot of the rose gold and it shimmers. And so I just wanted the um, coil to match that. And this is their new bloom. And I really love flowers. So I, I, so I definitely knew that I would want to go with that, um, the floral pattern more than their new harmony patterns or anything like that I'm a floral girl all the way and so <clears throat> um, so when they came out with this bloom I was all about that um, each of their planners always comes with a ruler which is great and it just snaps into the planners so that you can you know use it as a ruler as a guide um, you can also use it as a bookmark within there within your planner as well um, there's this vellum piece in the front which is really pretty it has the flora um, I'm sorry the bloom I say I'm gonna have to switch the bloom um, pattern on the front of it you can see through it of course um, and then we have the front of the life planner um, compact vertical layout of course, I'll put my name and everything here. And then this one says, all the flowers of tomorrow are the seeds of today. Love, love that. So at the beginning of pretty much every planner, um, I think that Erin Condren has. So they have the months laid out here um, for you so that you can kind of have a year at a glance. And then there is a goals um, section here as well people use this for many many different things um, but you can use it to set your goals for the year now that year would be from July to June um, but it says a goal is a goal is a dream with a deadline and so um, so like I can put my goals and the things that I want to do plan out for that year this says your potential to su to succeed is infinite and a blank page here and then it starts going into the months um, so here I have my my calendar all laid out I love the um, floral accents um, that they have kind of going throughout and I really like these um, pretty pastel colors as well um, so that is definitely my taste and um, writing in you know dates and things like that this is gonna this size is gonna be just fine so I'll show you my July from last year and you can see it's it's super big like in comparison but um, all I do is pretty much write you know what's going on the dates the things that are going on that day so um, I and I'm also going to be doing my budgeting planning with this as well so I'm okay with this size we'll see how it goes of course um, there could always be adjustments and then so what I started doing with my um, 7 by 9 I used it as um, as a, a way to budget um, and that's what I'm gonna do with this page now I'm not gonna show you um, the budgeting part of course but I do get these from um, Sarah stickers and I'll put her link below I'm not um, affiliated with her I just really like um, the stickers that she has for budgeting and so I'm gonna be using the a5 size or the petite size um, and I'm gonna be doing that same budgeting here I found that it worked in the 7x9 just fine however um, there was a lot of extra space in that planner and so I'm going to be doing my budgeting here and some kind of goals that I want to do for the month and then comes the new layout so um, as I had mentioned this is the new compact vertical layout so um, so it runs vertical from you know from the top to the bottom for each day and then also it's more compact which I mean 
it's probably like obvious, but everything is compact into um, this smaller size. Now for me, this works out perfectly because I can, um, my plan is to use this um, for just the daily things that I need to get done as like a quick to do. Um, and that's what I'm gonna try out for this year and see how it goes. It does have this extra space down here, but it has a full Saturday and a full Sunday. So I really like that um, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and then this extra space right here. Um, and then of course it goes through the entire month. And then it has a page here at the end. Um, and I haven't decided exactly how I want to use this page yet, to be honest. I just know that that first page in the month, so you have your calendar, and then that first page, I'm definitely going to use that for my budget. Um, and then I'm going to use this part for like goals and things that I need to get done for that month. Um, I'm big on budgeting. Um, I always pay my bills on time and on um, whenever their you know due date is I have it on my calendar and I even have it set in my phone um, as a reminder um, it's just really important that when I get paid the first thing I do is pay all of my bills and make sure that all of the things are done um, and using my 7x9 last year for that purpose was amazing I was able to pay off um, debts or get debts um, you know down like I'm so close to being debt free because I just followed a process and I continued to do that month after month um, making sure that um, you know everything is taken care of if you don't know I'm a single mom so I really need to watch my pennies and make sure that everything gets paid and um, and on time and I've always been really good about budgeting and planning um, but now it's like it's my it's my money I know what's coming in I know what's going out um, and and all of that kind of stuff so this is definitely going to be used for budgeting um, but then also for just my daily to do's as well things that I need to get done um, this is opposite, of course, from my um, planning that I do with my art business. Of course, you know, I do a monthly reset each month, um, and I've been thinking about maybe incorporating this in a little bit, but I haven't decided. But I definitely wanted you to see this cute new petite um, planner that they have come out with, and I'm excited to kind of get into it and use um, this for the year. Now I do want to note um, a couple of things. There is the section in the back with some stickers and then um, there's also some more you know monthly planning that you can do in the back here. Um, there's some let's keep in touch section um, and then this says heritage and awareness observances so it has um, a lot of like historical things that and the dates over here that you can plug in and then there's some plain note paper in the back too which I just love um, that I can kind of use for whatever I want also um, included was um, this little packet which I'll get into in just a second um, but there's also a back pocket here just like that just like I had in my 7x9 and then it they included this plan for tomorrow um, celebrate today um, so it has the month kind of like a month at a glance kind of thing and I'm excited to um, get to use this I haven't decided exactly how I'm gonna use it yet um, I could use it for my art business I could use it for work um, I could use it for um, you know planning around the house maybe some things that I want to get done so lots of different things I could do with this but I'm excited that they included that um, in the planner as well so with this it just has a few freebies
Whenever you order anything, they do give you a percentage off like the next time that you're going to order something. So I'm going to kind of put those to the side. But they do have those. And then there are a couple of um, stickers here. So this one is Enjoy uh, To and From. And then this one is um, just a little something from, and then you could say who it's from. So a couple of stickers that I could use for some friends. And then they also included, um, oh, three, I thought it was two, uh, three of these cards. Um, I call them tip-ins, um, but you can um, put them in to your planner. And there's three sayings here, and they each come in the different... Um, patterns that are available and they're really shiny see that but this one says you are beautiful capable and worthy this one says even when it seems impossible continue to believe in yourself and the last one is follow your passion and ignite your potential so super cool you could also use them as bookmarks I, th I think they'd be great for that um, as well so um, if you have any questions, you can put them in the comments below. Um, but this was, like I said, a smaller purchase for, like, the whole thing was a smaller purchase this year. Um, but I'm super happy with everything that I was able to get, um, including the stickers in the back and this um, plan tomorrow and celebrate um, today um, option as well. So, um super happy with my purchase. Um, I hope you enjoyed it and until next time, bye!